Hi, Marie Antonescu here. I'm going to be walking you through pelvic floor massage, internal massage. A different video will be external massage. And this, I'll be walking through it like you're doing it to yourself, or it could also be instruction to help someone else with their pelvic floor. Um, first, I always like to start with some anatomy. Here's the pelvis. So this is where the abdomen would be, and here's the back. It's looking into the pelvis. This hairy thing represents the bladder, and then the uterus. Stick that tube back in there, and then the rectum. I always like to give people a sense of where the organs are because I don't think we're really taught that. So here's another representation of the pelvis. Here again would be where the abdomen is, and here's where the back is. So before starting internal work, definitely ask yourself, check in with yourself, hmm, does this feel right at this moment? And it may not, and that's okay. Just save it for another time. And if it is, we shall continue on. So a few reasons why you may want to work with the pelvic floor. So the pelvic floor is made of muscles. They're like different, almost like slings and layers of muscles in there. And just like our shoulders when they get really tight, it can be helpful to have somebody else massage them or even yourself massage them for a different stimulus to help them relax. Very similar with the pelvic floor. Sometimes they'll just be parts of it that are tight we don't even know until we're in there. Just like when someone's rubbing your back, and you're like, oh, I didn't even know I was so tight there. When, when we're doing this, just like with massage, no pain. At least in my type of massage, no pain. <laughs> so, how to do it with yourself. It can work if you have a squatty potty where your feet are up on something. It can be easy to do this on the toilet. Um, you can kind of play around with what works for you, but in a squat-like position, not that you're holding yourself in a squat, but you're supported on a chair or something, can be helpful. And if you're pregnant, after a while, you might not be able to reach, so you'll need a partner. And if you're doing this for someone else, make sure the person receiving is in a comfortable position and fully willing. Also, that you have open communication in case at any time they're like, stop or remove your hand. So you can come up with your own words for that, but do, do talk about that beforehand. Like, how will I know if you want me to hold my finger in an area? And how will I know if you want me to make sure I remove my fingers? Okay, so pelvic floor. This hole here represents the vagina, that represents the anus. On yourself, it helps to use a thumb. So you're bringing a thumb just to the entrance at first. We'll do it kind of in layers. Just to the entrance. Um, before you go inside, There's, it's almost like there's a little bit of skin there that comes in and then it will open up inside. If that, It'll make more sense once you, um, you, uh, you feel for yourself. So you just Go with your thumb to one side and then you're going to have to switch thumbs probably and then go to the other side. And if you're doing this for someone, you may use one finger or two fingers. Some things to note, right in front is the urethra and it'll be about finger width kind of ridged feeling and it just kind of comes out a little bit. We don't want to poke on that. There are techniques to help it move freely if it's stuck. But don't mess around with it. So don't go directly anterior. Also don't go directly posterior because that's where the rectum is. And it can be uncomfortable or you might just feel their next bowel movement all locked and loaded. So we're going to go at an angle. And then an angle to the other side. And you can stay on one side for a little while and just kind of angle all the different directions other than anterior and posterior and then do the other side. And you're noting, is one side different than the other? Are there spots on one side that are tender or tense or numb or hot or whatever sensations come up for you? 
And then when you're ready, you can bring your thumb in a little bit deeper. So before we were just right at the opening and now you can come in a little bit more. And you'll kind of have to like scoop and go in <laughs> and press. And again, you're pressing in those directions and doing the other side and pressing in those directions and noticing the difference between the two. Because ideally our pelvic floor is even tension wise side to side. And then you can even go in a little bit deeper. You'll probably be able to get to the muscles here. And if someone's working with you, they can go back further. If someone is working with you and they get on a nerve, let them know to back off because that can happen. The sacral nerves branch out in here. The pelvis of women are innervated very differently from each other. Like, woman to woman, our pelvic innervations vary widely compared to men whose pelvic innervations tend to be pretty similar. So, if something doesn't feel good to you, even though it doesn't say it in an anatomy book that there's a nerve there, there might be. So just have open communication. Say you find a spot that is tight, you'll just hold it. You're not like cramming and pressing and like, relax, relax. Instead, you're just holding it like, hey, how's it going? What do you need? And just by holding it and being curious, it might relax. You can also try to bring your breath to the area. It's almost like you're breathing into the muscle. And if you've never tried that before, it might take a little while. It's kind of like a mind game, <laughs> but it helps the muscle relax. So another technique is bringing your thumb in and then you kind of hook your thumb. Hook sounds a little violent. You hook and then you massage down towards the opening. And you can do that at all those different angles, other than straight forward and straight back, on both sides. And follow your intuition. Don't hurt yourself. If your body after a while is like, go back to that one spot, that's what really needs to be touched, go back there. You might find different visions of things pop up for you. You might find some areas feel really hot or you might be feeling something and then it gets really hot and then it relaxes. Um, the body's amazing and mysterious. I can't tell you exactly what you're gonna feel, but those are a couple things you can look for. Just be curious, open-minded and compassionate with yourself. Definitely wash your hands beforehand and clip fingernails. Well, enjoy when you're done. Afterwards, check in with yourself. Relax in whatever way you want. And I guess honor yourself for going through this process and releasing whatever you could release. If you find areas that are really tight, tender, or just bring up a lot of emotions that you can't deal with on your own, it might be a good idea to go see a pelvic floor, um, someone who works with pelvic floors professionally or has a lot more experience with that. So if you do end up with a big release, you don't know what to do with it, go right into butterfly breathing. I just want to say this because pelvic floor stuff is powerful and I, I don't want to like set you up for for releasing something in your body and not knowing what to do with it if it gets stuck. So butterfly breathing, gentle tapping side to side. You just pay attention to your breath. This in and of itself is very calming to the nervous system. And if you want, you can go a little bit further and visualize a place where you feel really relaxed and safe. This is the butterfly hug. Great. Enjoy.